there's this crazy funding boom going into creating meatless meat and alternative proteins because we really need to change the way we eat. And one of the hardest types of proteins to find and one of the kind of last areas that hasn't been getting as much funding but has recently had a lot of investors flocking to it is the world of alternative shellfish and seafood. New Wave Foods is an extraordinary company, mission-based, uh, with a huge business opportunity. So the co-founders saw that there were tremendous issues in the uh, supply chain for seafood, particularly for shrimp. 90% of what we consume being imported and over half of that from shrimp farms. So there was tremendous ecological damage that was happening through these farms. And it's the number one seafood. So Americans consume a billion and a half pounds every year. So it was a big business opportunity, a big ecological opportunity, and that's what really formed the, the company at its inception. It is extremely hard to recreate a shrimp without shrimp that still has the same snap that's expected from a shrimp and the same, you know, fresh out of the ocean taste. But there are several startups that have been really trying to perfect it and spending years in research and development and food engineering to try to make it happen. And we were really lucky to get a chance to taste some that has been getting worked on for a really long time is about to get commercialized and sold in cafeterias and restaurants and even maybe grocery stores soon. So uh, we got the new wave shrimp here and those go into this uh, rice flour. So they get a light dusting of rice flour, they go into this special tempura batter that is also is gluten-free, made with bean, potato, and rice starches. Um, and then it goes into 360 degree oil and it fries really nice, uh, very delicious. And then I've got Japanese brewed organic soy, ginger juice, and mirin is the little dip. Uh, and some uh, wakame salad. Well, what we're offering is a one-for-one -one swap, and it's used exactly as shrimp is used in any recipe. Uh, we particularly recommend hot recipes, so entrees and appetizers, and it's delicious. When I met the founders, they had a wonderful idea, and they had a good, they had a very good product, but there was definitely areas for opportunity for improvement. So we stepped back and that's when, about three years ago, we went to the Culinary Institute of America and we started working with master, certified master chef Brad Barnes. And what we did was we, we pulled together a really extraordinary team to work on it. So we, we had people from academia, we had leading food R&D folks, we had some of the flavor houses from around the world. So we really kind of punched over our weight and collected an extraordinary group of professionals who worked on this to really create the texture and the taste of ocean shrimp. And it was extremely difficult to do, but with that collection of people, we were able to. Unlike, you know, Beyond and Impossible, which um, are pretty entrenched, and there's a lot of, you know, fake chicken companies out there right now, um, the alternative seafood world still is kind of like a last frontier. Um, it's been uh, taking far longer in development just because it is so much harder to create and um, meet what we expect. So this is a seafood in that there is seaweed. Seaweed is one of the core ingredients. And then for protein, we use mung bean, um, which works very well. And then also is more adapted, or I should say more accepted, versus soy, which mm -hmm. a lot of plant-based uh, proteins use. So we have none of the top eight allergens. Uh, and that's obviously no shellfish, but also none of the top eight. So that's one of the, you know, one of the things that we have that really is, works well mm -hmm. in terms of acceptance. And then I really can't talk as much to the rest in that we have so much intellectual property. We currently have national distribution. So yes, so we are partnering with Dot Foods. And then meanwhile, we're sampling a lot and really in those initial stages with a lot of the national chains. Um, the reception has been fantastic. It's been fantastic. I've tried a lot of these fake seafood products and honestly many of them really don't hit the mark. Shrimp especially giving it as a third 
um, most eaten protein in all of America is such a big volume of that and you know is used in so many ubiquitous and different types of dishes that it's been really a holy grail for a lot of startups but new wave is a leader that has one of the best chances at really getting it to more mainstream and commercial distribution <laughs>